Hello, I'm Maciej Mikos, and you're watching World Talks. Poland has now two fully operational US-made Patriot batteries to protect Warsaw and the center of the country. The Patriots form a part of a Wisła air defense program. And to talk about this latest addition to the Polish Armed Forces, we're joined by Marek Madli, Assistant Professor in the Department of Strategic Studies and International Security at the University of Warsaw. Good afternoon, Professor. Good afternoon. So the big ceremony took place uh, today with Deputy Prime uh, Minister and Defence Minister Wodosław Kośniak kamerz and US Ambassador uh, Thomas Rose, among others. We, however, talking about only two batteries. Now, is it really worth celebrating? Mm, yes, it was. Because, uh, of course, it's only two batteries, but at the same time, it's two batteries which could uh, be efficient and effective uh, tool to to protect uh, uh, Warsaw from attacks by missiles or by aircraft uh, and so on. And it's really effective tool as a, in military terms. Uh, the fact that there are only two, does, uh, it only means that we need, of course, for other uh, targets which could be possibly attacked by by uh, enemy uh, other targets in other parts of the the country other um, more than batteries of, of that kind but nevertheless uh, it's as we probably know rather expensive uh, expensive uh, asset therefore uh, costs are, are are also important in, in it but two batteries are uh, sufficiently effective to protect uh, cities like uh, Warsaw from many type of attacks. Of course, in case of, I don't know, some kind of massive uh, bombardment with uh, a huge number of, of missiles and, and, and other uh, forms of attack, it could be problematic to be used. But generally speaking, that kind of, uh, of equipment is really effective. So even two batteries is really something. Let me know... Uh quote um, uh, the uh, the ambassador to Poland, the US ambassador to Poland, even the United States does not yet have a fully operational IBCS-based system like uh, Poland and Warsaw is the first city in the world fully protected by an integrated air defense command system. Could, could you tell us more about this uh, integrated battle command system in Poland? Well, of course, details are, are not available for, for uh, experts uh, which are you uh, rely only on open source and so on. But it means that we have simply a system which, uh, thanks to many sensors and connectors, is able to identify significant number of targets simultaneously and therefore quickly uh, react to, to incoming dangers, uh, taking into account that batteries uh, have a couple of, of well, in fact, multiple launchers so you have a couple of missiles which could be used at the same time. Uh, and taking into account also that it helps to integrate it with other elements of, of, uh, of um, uh, air uh, defense. It allows us, let's say, to react on, on, in real time on to many, to many challenges at the same time. That's, that's the, let's say, main story here. Mm -hmm. Now, Poland is supposed to receive uh, many... I don't know whether many, but some batteries, uh, some um, Patriot batteries, more by the end of uh, the decade. Now, how long, in fact, yeah. do we really need to to protect uh, the the most uh, the, the most crucial uh, places for uh, for Poland in uh, in the times of war? I'm not speaking only about uh, you know big cities because this is obvious, but what about mm, factories that that produce uh, weapons and so on? More important, I think, are rather uh, some transport hubs like uh, harbor, harbors or uh, important airports and uh, that kind of things. Because taking into account that the idea of how we organize our defense uh, with the assumption that in case of, of uh, need of use of massive forces, the very important issue will be mobility and ability to move forces from one part of, of European theater into the other, especially into east, eastern flank. Uh, transport hubs are, are of crucial importance. That 
ability to to uh, host uh, uh, things which are uh, and tool soldiers and and uh, units which are coming from other parts of the world. So uh, of course it's always the more the better in that sense that the more the more batteries of patriot you have probably you could defend even bigger number of targets. As I said, it's uh, it's a problem of affordability very often. That is how much you can you can buy and how uh, because. Uh, Really, it's uh, relatively easy to find uh, targets which should be defended. So it's always some kind of selection. But uh, the very fact that we'll have more, some six uh, batteries, uh, as I remember well, uh, in addition, you know, by the end of the decade, uh, it will help to, to, to defend a lot of uh, other targets which are also of, of real importance and, of course, also territory and simply uh, population on given area because it's not only about protection, let's say, highly important military targets, but also simply, uh, simply uh, citizens of Poland. Right. You said before that uh, the Patriots are, well, they are quite costly. And uh, that for my next question, is it efficient to use Patriot batteries against drones? Uh, simply answer is no, it's not. In that sense that, of course, from military point of view, they are able to destroy multiple number of drones simultaneously. But from cost effectiveness point of view, uh, it does not make too much sense, especially if you are not, let, if you will do it as a, let's say, daily practice or routine way of, of reacting. That's why the system, air defense system, and that's why we try to integrate it into battle system and so on. It's not only about connection of, of uh, data and sensors, but also connection with other types of, of uh, of uh, weapons, which allows us to be more, let's say, cost effective. We have much shorter range, uh, less, let's say, uh, developed and less uh, advanced uh, ability to track targets and to destroy targets from long distance and even very speedy targets. That is something which move very fast. But nevertheless, if you have a couple of light layers, that is, one is constituted by patriots to, to defend, especially from targets which are these targets which are really, uh, let's say, uh, important, and at the same time against uh, against missiles or or uh, other things, but mainly missiles, which are simply much more uh, effective as a destructive tool. Then you could co connect it to or integrate it with with other systems, which uh, could deal, let's say, with those less uh, tra threatening, less uh, dangerous from technological point of view uh, things, like very often drones, which are use in big numbers. So to sum up, of course, relying on Patriot to, to on Patriots to destroy targets like uh, slow, uh, but uh, multiple drones is, is not the good idea. But the whole story is about building a system within which Patriots are, let's say, reserved for the most important uh, targets uh, and the most important things we would like to defend. All right. N nevertheless, I remember, you know, quite clearly the situation from uh, the last summer when uh, Russians clearly tested uh, Poland's readiness to protect its, um, its skies and send a swarm of drones uh, over the country. Now, do you think they'll try it again now knowing that um, the, uh, the two batteries are fully operational and whether to, to, to test them, whether they are really, in fact, operational? I think that you, know, you never know, well, let's say, what, what Russians could do and when. So we cannot exclude that kind of uh, story. In my opinion, it's highly probable. Also, for, let's say, propaganda reasons, you could do this, especially after uh, de deployment and and uh, declaration of operational capability of of such things like like patriot batteries just to show that they are not effective because for example we did not use them to destroy a drone which was flying some 500 kilometers from Warsaw and and so on of course very often it will be organized it could be organized in such a way to to give a reason to claim that it means that our uh, uh, air defense is uh, not effective but what uh, I think we should take into account that we w doesn't, doesn't have to and probably we won't use uh, Patriot to show uh, the, the um, uh, ability to, to, to destroy such targets like, uh, like drones. And Russians also have to take into account that that kind of, uh, of uh, moves are... Uh, also counted uh, by by other members of, of alliance and uh, and us and 
could uh, lead to some responses or to, let's say, more tough approach in context of sanction, context of negotiation over Ukraine and so on. So I would not overestimate the importance of such provocation and the very fact that, for example, we will deal with, with such drones, with other measures, and maybe not with 100% uh, uh, success, which is also possible in that sense that some drones will fly and um, get some or fly over territory with no no explosion and so on. Even if it happened, it does not mean that that you know Patriot batteries are useless or or our defense of let's say really important targets or capital as such is not not functioning. So I could not exclude that kind of provocation, but it does not mean that it will be some real test of let's say our capability to defend in case of need. Marek Madaj, Assistant Professor in the Department of Strategic Studies and International Security at the University of Warsaw, was our guest uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching and stay with us for more interviews here on TVP World.